Right. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Wa mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajba'in. So, uh, welcome to the session of uh, the third session for the second day uh, in MBKF. Uh, so this one is, uh, we talk about the Unimastri's journey, right? Uh, as you can listen from uh, the first uh, session was talking about the service learning and recently we, uh, we learned also a lot of from uh, the session just talking about the COVID-19, yeah? So, yeah. Uh, as to start, uh, I'd like to welcome, uh, as you can see from my screen, uh, for today's session, I get, uh, I have my special panel, which is uh, our speaker is uh, Professor Dr. Dara, uh, Narayanan <coughs> Kulaturumai, <laughs> is the Director of Institute of Social Informatics and Technology Innovation. <laughs> yeah, Prof. Uh, Together with me, we'll we'll discuss uh, we'll talk about Uni Master's journey. Yeah? So before uh, we start, right, uh, I like to thank uh, all the participants. Thank you very much for joining this ABKF. Uh, what uh, the objective uh, for this uh, session is to to bring uh, uh, how to introduce trees, how trees uh, uh, been impacting. The innovation in Unima. So, right. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, this is uh, our Trace Unima educator profile. So, yeah, if you can see that, <laughs> the biggest one is uh, the top one is uh, Prof Nara, yeah, our champion Trace in Unima. Then we got the members over there. Prof Nara is uh, Trace level three. And we got uh, down there is uh, Associate Professor Dr. Rohaya is from. Uh, Faculty Economics and Business. Eh? Uh, we got Mr. Jonathan Anasidi from the Computer Science and Information Technology. Uh, we got uh, our medical uh, doctor, uh, real medical. She's Dr. Muhammad Hamdi bin Muhammad. Then uh, me uh, from Computer Science. And then uh, we got also from uh, Medical Faculty, Dr. Associate Professor Dr. Ashley Edward Roy and also say. Right, so uh, kita lihat, uh, uh, Unimas, uh, kalau kita lihat, one of our guru here in Unimas is uh, Master Tris. <laughs> we, we, uh, we are fortunate in Unimas because we got uh, Prof. Nara, which is uh, bringing uh, Tris in Unimas. That's why today we talk about the journey, so that we know how Unimas uh, Tris uh, impacting Unimas also we want to bring also this idea, uh, since we're talking about uh, EBKF, how we can bring trees also to society, how we can improve our society so that we can uh, propor, uh, prosperous our, our life eh? because living with the technology, right? I hope uh, this profile will give you give you some, uh, if you want to contact Unimas in terms of you want to talk about trees, uh, these are the people that you can uh, look to. Uh, Right, uh, this is some event that what we, uh, this is uh, some of the uh, SNAP. Uh, of course, we, we, do, we do conduct a lot of training. I think Prof. Naro will talk about this one later. This are the nice picture before the COVID-19. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that uh, after, if we have the, what we call the uh, living endemic, and then we, we uh, hopefully next two years, so according to just now we listen that we have a bright future uh, so we pray for that so that we can gather together and then learn together because face to face is the best uh, but yeah virtual pun okay you are best juga sebab uh, kita tak ada our call uh, uh, sempadan eh? uh, kita kita boleh bercakap uh, even though kita berada di suatu tempat yang begitu remote as, as long as kita ada internet connection kita boleh uh, bercakap tentang trees, eh? bercakap tentang uh, teknologi, bercakap tentang apa-apa saja kita nak bercakap. Kita nak uh, orang yang tak pernah kita jumpa pun kita boleh jumpa dalam uh, uh, individual. Eh? So that is the beauty of technology. Right. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, so laulah saya speaker. <laughs> Tapi uh, let me uh, uh, bring this session uh, to introduce uh, about trees first. Uh, because uh, 
Prof. Dara, Prof. Dara will talk about the. I will invite Prof. Dara uh, to talk about uh, the journey, huh? the journey, uh, uh, Trish journey in Unimas, lah, something like that. So, so we understand how uh, uni, uh, Trish has been involved in Unimas and how it impacting the the society in Unimas also in uh, to the community, right? So I'd like to bring uh, a little bit. Uh, uh, what are called uh, nine pillars of IR province zero, which is based on the technology. If you can see that, I think, yeah, kalau yang untuk bahagian rural area, uh, IBKF, uh, I think benda ni pun kita sudah uh, sudah sedia malu. Imagine kalau kita tak ada teknologi dahulu, kita tak mengetahui ini. Tak adanya internet, kita tidak mengetahui ada ini. Tapi sekarang ni dengan adanya internet, uh, kita boleh uh, dikatakan gap of knowledge ataupun uh, jurang perbezaan ilmu tu dah semakin dekat uh, sebab dengan adanya internet adanya teknologi so ini adalah uh, contoh uh, adalah sembilan apa pillars ataupun nine pillars of IR province zero which is based on technology tetapi yang interestingnya kalau kita lihat di Jepun uh, sebab teknologi ni pun membawa membawa sesuatu benda yang yang dikatakan sebagai uh, uh, side ada negative side ya there is a negative side so kalau kita lihat di Jepun dia introduce society 5.0 which is uh, sangat bertepatan dengan kita punya uh, uh, EBKF hari ini which is kita tak nak teknologi uh, menyebabkan kita society kita terlalu uh, tertindas huh? jurang 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 kekayaan tu semakin ketara sebab ada orang yang akan berjaya terus berjaya so apa yang digariskan oleh society 5.0 yang uh, adalah mereka try to balance eh? try to balance economic advancement with the resolution of the social problem so this is a uh, resolution of the social problem and i think ini adalah economic advancement contohnya economic advancement kalau kita lihat dalam uh, dengan adanya uh, 5.0 the demand of energy is increasing the demand of food stuff is increasing semuanya meningkat eh? semuanya makin baik tetapi uh, dia mendatangkan kesan negatif. So kenapa saya bawakan benda ni? So this one is will bring uh, the importance of uh, what call innovation dalam kita punya life. So this is the key apa yang saya nak bawa in uh, IR Open Zero or Society Open Zero. The key is the innovation lah. So when we talk about innovation uh, kita tidak boleh tinggalkan juga bahawa Innovation itu hanya berlaku di tempat negara-negara yang maju. Di tempat-tempat tempat yang negara tak maju pun innovation adalah penting sebab inilah uh, kunci kepada kejayaan. Mana-mana syarikat-syarikat besar pun mereka akan bercakap tentang inovasi. Sebab inovasi adalah kunci utama. The innovation is the key uh, uh, to be competent in the in the real world. So the question is dari mana kita nak belajar inovasi? So that's why uh, this is another Today talk is we try to bring trees. Uh, kenapa kita nak introduce trees? Because trees is uh, give you uh, uh, a power uh, to do uh, to 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 achieve innovation in a rapid way. So before I talk about trees, uh, maybe uh, I like to give a short short uh, opportunity to Prof Nara. To just uh, welcome Prof Nara to give some little bit before I go for the Prof. Okay. Uh, Are you there? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Haliko. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, uh, is my video visible and my audio list uh, all reachable to everybody, right? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much uh, to Dr. Haliko. I, I thought you were the main speaker. Well, I'm just <laughs> supporting. No. Right. Uh, in any case, I think what what we are doing here in ECT, I, I think all of you know our name, Institute of Social Informatics and Technological Innovations. Right. So since the institute has got two parts because of this uh, uh, this definition of our scope, uh, we are well known for social informatics right we are already established you see most of the sessions in uh, the, the ebkf 
has been talking about social informatics, right? But at the same time, uh, when you say technological innovations, I mean, so it seems like we are only looking at technology, but that's not true as pointed out by uh, Associate Professor Dr. Halikul just now, uh, he started with IR 4.0. That's really what uh, many countries are moving towards, right? I mean, as people approach that as a trigger, you need to realize that you cannot take an industrial approach entirely foregoing or overlooking society, right? So that's why, I mean, uh, when he was uh, talking about what in Japan, I mean, they are looking at society uh, 5.0. Some people are talking about, about 6.0 and all. But what is the need to change the numbers is only that when we go into industrialization, we should not forget that we are all human, right? As human, all of us have got social needs and you know we need to move on in terms of an advancement of society through a much more humanistic approach. And at the same time, the desire to move forward means we need to focus on innovation. So innovation is the key and that's really what uh, Dr. Halikul has uh, clearly pointed out. And uh, well, you're going to hear about the best way to work on innovation. And when we say uh, in innovation, uh, ECT is approaching innovation in terms of systematic innovation, which means innovation is no longer only for creative people. Everyone can innovate if you know what is true, right? So this is a secret I'm sharing with you. Well, um, normally when people share secrets, they will tell you, don't tell anybody. Well, I am telling you, please share my secret to everybody because Tris is the solution to systematically innovate our lives, systematically innovate everything around us and systematically improve our environment such that everyone who comes into our orbit, you know, they will all be able to feel some inspiration of knowing that their life is a continuum, a continuum that keeps improving day by day, not one which, you know, they, they just look for what is happening outside, right? Just now we talked about COVID-19. Uh, I mean, this pandemic has really put us into a situation. And I was moved when I heard Councillor John yesterday saying, this is like World War Three. he said. If you go to communities with not much enough information for them to know that the effect or extent of the pandemic for them it is like world war three stay at home don't come out you know so sometimes you need to uh, share these uh, messages in a much more friendly manner so that's really what we notice and we need to somehow even under the lockup even under a pandemic situation nothing stops you from being the most creative person Right? For being a most creative person, you can explore ways which others may say, no, I cannot go to the church. You know, they said, uh, well, uh, the uh, pandemic situation is so bad that, you know, uh, we can't go and pray. But then in one rural village, what they did was they said, uh, we will use walkie talkies to share our prayers. You know? So you can see uh, even when you are challenged with innovation, there is a way which keeps you safe and yet you're able to achieve the desired goal that is needed. So I'm, I'm sharing uh, this a bit slowly. I mean, because we have a bit extra time, uh, I mean, we have until one, right? So we started uh, early. So, so I, I just want to make sure that every one of you uh, well, we'll go home today. I mean, if you're listening to us for the first time, you will go back today with a message now everyone can innovate, right? So let me just talk about Tris journey in Unimas. The Tris journey in Unimas actually started with uh, well, Tris being introduced in Malaysia in 2010, right? So mm -hmm. since 2010, uh, we, we have actually uh, looked at uh, this new uh, approach, which is called theory of inventive problem solving. This tool, actually, the moment I heard about it in 2010, training by Intel and MDEC at that time, I knew that this is going to be a life changer, right? Because it was 
uh, very meaningful in its approach and it shed answers to many of the questions I couldn't answer before I came across Tris, right? So Tris has been a life changer for me and we are the uh, most active group in Malaysia, the Sarawakian group. Uh, led by Unimas is the most active group in terms of TRIS training throughout the whole country. This is according to the president of uh, Malaysian TRIS Association, uh, Mr. Tan Eng Ho, right? So uh, he uh, acknowledged uh, our uh, enterprising approach to promote uh, TRIS uh, really not only in Unimas, but also looking at Sarawak on the whole and moving to the whole Borneo, right? So this is where we started and we have come up with Bonio trees, we already have a website and uh, there's a lot of activity where we even went to uh, Brunei and you know started doing uh, some road shows there. And, and uh, well, of course we have our partners in, in, in trees, which is Indonesian trees uh, who uh, would also join us to look at ways of uh, bridging to Kalimantan, right? Kalimantan site, which is uh, totally uh, unexplored uh, area or region that uh, trees would need to touch. So, in Sarawak itself, uh, as we started with a few areas, first we looked at training for university students. So now we have got a, a, a core course in the computer science faculty. We also have an elective course for, uh, for all students, right? So we have courses that has trained more than a thousand students already. And uh, we are looking forward to every first year students uh, who comes in into Unimas will get a chance to be trained uh, under this method, right? So that's that's the first thing we've done. And the second thing is, I mean, in order to get the students trained, we needed to train the academics first. And we have already trained uh, a number of academics uh, along the way. And uh, as, as we have uh, been training this uh, academic uh, community, uh, we also train the uh, lecturers who are now our champions. So with, with our core group of team who have been trained, uh, we are already going to industry. I mean, with the help of Dr. TSO from uh, Peninsula Malaysia, we did Srawa energy training. We've already trained 20 people until level three. Uh, we, we started a training in Longji and we are looking at uh, Sanari Synergy where we train the management in terms of strategic leadership. We're also going back to Malaysian Trees Association to train them. And we are looking at leadership training under the leadership center in Unimas. And we are moving on to uh, community-based training. So today I really want to just say a few things before Dr. Halikul goes on. Sorry, uh, Dr. Halikul, I jumped a few steps already. Right? I thought this is what I'm going to talk about. Right? So in any case, uh, what I want to share with you is our community-based trees is the most exciting. It is the most exciting because uh, what uh, we are looking at is we have produced our own trees cards and these trees cards, uh, we made it available to uh, a lot of people. I mean, teachers, I mean, we are, we are going to, uh, as far as we can reach, trying to use trees as a tool to make innovation a way of life for a lot of people, right? So our community-based trees is really the key to actually take the success stories that Dr. Halikul is going to share with you, which is already there in industry, take it to the grassroots, take it to the ground and make innovation a way which is accessible to everyone. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Dr. Halikul. Please proceed. Thank you, Prof. Nara. Uh, it was a very motivating talk. <laughs> I like the way you talk. So always, I mean, uh, uh, you inspired us to go further and uh, uh, to bring uh, trees in uh, what called in Unimas. So let me give you. I, I think uh, some of the participants is uh, very familiar with the trees. Uh, uh, I send this message to hopefully uh, uh, to those who are very new to trees, uh, but but those who are familiar with trees. So just enjoy. <laughs> If you have any what call you want to add, uh, just you can put in the chat. Uh, feel free uh, because uh, I believe that uh, trees. Uh, if you want to be good in trees, we need to be what are called uh, working in a, a uh, what are called uh, in. Uh, we need to collaborate. Uh, we need to uh, 
uh, have a more discussion so that more idea will come because each of us have their own capability. Uh, if you are alone, then I will believe that uh, you don't have any what we call a circle, you don't have any group, then you will be, uh, you know, sometimes you feel boring with trees. But with the circle, we have our, our team here. Uh, yeah. Please join us. Uh, we are, what we, our, our message is, uh, we want to turn all the problem in this world to a solution. So any problem that you face, if you are stuck with problem, come to us, come to Prof. Nara, come to me, come to the our, call, our, our team, and then we can, we can turn that, your problem into a solution. So, yeah. So let me uh, give you some what we call uh, introduction to trees. And after that, we're going to listen to our beloved uh, trees master <laughs> in Unimas, uh, Prof. Nara, talking about the journey, uh, Unimas trees journey. Uh, and then we have a, uh, for those who are just um, joining us in the EBKF, we actually we have a free workshop on trees, uh, uh, which is uh, we have done with the teachers. And uh, I think it's about seven, uh, let me uh, remember, if I remember correctly, there is uh, eight schools uh, as a pilot study for uh, train the uh, penetrating the trees uh, to the work of the secondary school. Uh, see how the trees can power them with the so, so that they can do some innovation and then uh, followed by we have uh, after the free workshop we have the competition and that competition uh, the the all the participants which is uh, student yeah, they are because this is uh, uh, we are living in a covid 19 also pandemic uh, in our uh, situation so we ask them to uh, to give a video uh, uh, to record their innovation and submit it to the uh, EBKF uh, Secretariat. And then here we will uh, present it to you uh, in a video, uh, in a rec record, uh, recorded form. Huh? All right. So allow me to begin. Uh, what is trees? So that is the, uh, all the definition. But in, in, in English, it's like tips, uh, theory of inventive problem solving. So meaning that this theory is uh, not like uh, if you learn about the creative thinking, uh, it's not like creative. This is a systematic problem solving, meaning systematic with a structure. Uh, we learn about systematic, meaning that it's logical, huh? logic and based on data, not intuitive. Uh, so when you learn this, you are not learning something, uh, something that is uh, uh, you need to be uh, creative. For example, if you want to look at certain things, uh, for example, if I want to be creative, to be innovative, I need to be creative. Of course, creative is one of the uh, ingredients uh, for the innovation. Huh? So we cannot run away. away. But what, what trees give you is, is a systematic problem solving. It's like algorithm, it's like step by step. Dia ada, dikatakan sebagai systematic ni, dia teratur lah, berbentuk structure. Uh, kalau kita belajar, uh, for example, kalau kita Dia ibarat, kalau boleh saya katakan, ibarat matematik. Satu campur satu sama dengan dua. Uh, kalau kita kreatif, satu campur satu sama dengan sebelas. Itu, uh, itu kreatif. Tetapi kalau satu campur satu sama dengan dua, itu adalah logik. Satu campur tiga sama dengan empat. Dan kalau dikatakan satu campur empat, itu mungkin dia punya jawapan sampai lima atau enam, uh, itu mungkin kreatif uh, dari segi benda lain. Tetapi belajar Chris, mesti diingat, the keyword is, Dia adalah sistematik, dia adalah logik, dan dia adalah berdasarkan kepada data. So dan dia bukanlah spontaneous ataupun kreativiti yang secara tiba-tiba saja. Dan juga dia bukanlah berdasarkan kepada uh, kepakaran individu ataupun sesuatu grup tu. Dia mak so, seolah-olah uh, kita dapat trisni, seolah-olah uh, kita dah belajar, kita dah belajar. Uh, uh, pattern ataupun bentuk uh, kita boleh uh, uh, yeah. menekah or predict uh, the future based on the uh, system that yang yang kita yang kita ada. Okay, so that is the the definition. So harap-harap selepas ini <laughs> tak ada lagi apa kekeliruan dalam tris lah. So maksudnya tris adalah it is a systematic uh, problem solving method. Okay, based on logic and data dan bukannya berdasarkan kepada intuitif or spontaneous creativity 
of individual or groups. Eh? So itu dia punya definisi. Kalau ada ada soalan boleh uh, ataupun ada pertanyaan boleh letak dalam ruang chat. Eh? You can put in the chat box. Eh? Right. So uh, trees is developed by uh, Hendrik Arsler and his colleague from 1946 to uh, 1985 in the former unit of uh, Soviet Socialist Republic, the USSR, based on the study of pattern of problem and solution. Uh, if you look at this one, uh, I like to highlight is this tree is uh, emer emerged from uh, study of patterns, uh, study of patterns of problems and solution. Uh, because of that, trees provide repeatable predictable and reliable. Ada tiga ni, this is very, very important. That's why uh, dia katakan tadi, if you look at the, the, the first, is a structured. Eh? Structured. If it is thing that structured, we can repeat and we can re uh, predict and it is re reliable. Macam matematik lah. Kalau satu campur satu sama dengan dua, of course, satu campur tiga sama dengan empat. Satu campur lima sama dengan enam. Sebab kita boleh repeat benda tu dan kita boleh jangkakan dia punya uh, keputusan dan dia sangat-sangat reliable lah sangat-sangat boleh dipercayai eh? so uh, learning trees it improves individual or teams ability to solve problem so kalau kita belajar trees ni uh, all the participant here uh, listening maybe you have different what call perspective maybe trees is another another approach but uh, trust me <laughs> as a trees practitioner I've been uh, with Prof. Lara working on trees. So I think uh, at the beginning, I, I thought this trees is something that uh, this is another method. Because I'm also from computer science. I'm also, I, I also know how to do programming. I know algorithms. But actually, when I jump into trees, oh, they give me another work on. Kalau boleh dalam COVID-19, kita kena ada booster. So trees is a booster. Kita boleh ibaratkan macam tu booster lah. Booster untuk kita buat innovation. So very rapid kita ada immune system. Kalau kita tengok sesuatu benda oh ini tak ada masalah ni. Uh, so we can turn into into a solution. Right, this is the man. Uh Hendrik Asla. So you can uh, reach this one if you are interested to know him. Uh, this is a father of trees. Eh? You can google uh, Hendrik Asla, father of trees. So you got the uh, what call the uh, uh, brief lah, two or three pages about about him, right? So, what is the the key discover in trees? Ah, this is very interesting. So, if you want to learn trees, uh, so this is what I'm talking about is trees is based on data and logic. Eh? So, if you look at that one, uh, trees is uh, begin with initial analysis of patterns worldwide. Eh? Not only Oracle, there is a two hundred. 200 uh, 200,000 uh, or 200k <laughs> something like that so from 200 uh, 200,000 pattern right uh Arsela and his uh, click synthesized down to just uh, innovation uh, innovative pattern so you can imagine from 200 uh, tak tahulah kalau kita ni belajar uh, berapa banyak pattern yang kita dah baca kan uh, kalau saya saya pun saya mengaku tak sampailah Sampai berapa pattern. Nak baca Google pattern pun, satu pun tak susah. Prof. Nara dah, dah belajar lah tentang pattern. Mungkin kita akan belajar dengan dia nanti lah insyaAllah. So, from 200,000 pattern, synthesize into 4,000. Uh, what are called? 4,000, uh, what are called? Sorry. Uh, innovative pattern. Uh, because you submit pattern, it doesn't mean that there is an innovative. So how to do it? This is a uh, kebijaksanaan yang dibagi kepada Arsela lah. Nah, dia boleh tahu ada uh, innovative pat uh, pattern. Huh? So if you want to know more, you need to learn trees. Huh? So 40,000. Uh, then uh, what happened? This is the key discovery dalam trees. Right? Daripada tadi kita 200,000 pattern. Uh, then this is 40,000 uh, innovative pattern. Then the, this is the key discovery in trees. Huh? Uh, problem, uh, because trees is a theory, uh, it's a principle, uh, concept. Problem and solution were repeated across industry and science. Kita tak boleh uh, sangkar lagi lah bahawa this is uh, reality. Uh. Problem and solution 
uh, of course, is were repeated across industry and science. And with that, how to, 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 to do it? Uh, if you want to uh, tackle this problem, you can use 40 inventive principle. Né? You can use 40 inventive principle. Né? So, and then uh, the other one is pattern. Uh, what is the key discovery from the, uh, uh, what are the, uh, come across uh, patterns of technical evolution were repeated across industry and science. Pattern of technical evolution. Uh, can I, can I bezakan, the, 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 uh, the previous one is problem and solution. Uh, this one is pattern of technical evolution. Uh, so you can apply, if you want to learn this one, you can apply technology trends to evolve a technical system to the next generation. Uh, so you can use that. Uh, uh, and then the key dis discovery also, innovation use uh, innovation, innovation used scientific effect outside the field from where the original problem was found. Né? So this one also happening. Eh? Uh, sometimes if you can see the solution, uh, like COVID-19, uh, the solution is not within that COVID-19. Actually, the solution is outside the COVID-19. Eh? So you can you can see uh, the innovation, uh, uh, the, other, the other scientific effect. Uh, if you use the scientific effect, for example, uh, kalau thermal, kalau kita nak pecahka, pecahkan crystal, for example, apa scientific? Uh, what is the approach eh, yang kita boleh gunakan? Mungkin kita boleh gunakan pressure atau kita gunakan apa-apa. So, apabila kita uh, generalize dia, we can use the scientific effect, can be used to solve the problem in a unique way. Eh? So, this is the key discovery in PRIS. Eh? So, of course, uh, this is quite general, I give you. If you want to, uh, you want to learn more, then of course, uh, you can you can go and contact us lah. So, Chris is a statistically based family uh, principle and strategy enabling engineers, not engineers lah, uh, uh, us also to identify potential solution path of the technical problem. Right? So, but this is uh, the what call uh, one of the definition lah. Uh. Okay. So, in short. Uh, uh, what is uh, uh, the hypothesis of trace? Because hypothesis is uh, you need to claim someone somewhere has already solved this problem or one very similar to it. So meaning that uh, why we are not, I uh, mean, if we face the problem, why we are not uh, able to uh, overcome the problem because we are limited in terms of knowledge. But if you go, if we uh, work on have the ability to access the knowledge, access the knowledge, which is globally, uh, we will learn more. For example, uh, uh, in Malaysia, for example, we are uh, limited in terms of accessing the uh, pattern database. Uh. So that's why our solution uh, is within Malaysia. But if we able to access what happened in Japan, what happened in, uh, in UK, what happened in uh, US, what happened in uh, Australia, what happened in uh, China, our solution is uh, what we call uh, will differ. The innovation is very, very, very high in, in terms of uh, produ uh, producing the uh, solution. So the, the, the hypothesis of this is someone, some way. So our, our job in, the, in terms of creativity is now to finding that solution and adapting it to, the, to, the, to this particular problem. All right? Uh, so meaning that if you look at the picture, uh, actually is uh, the solution is already there. The clue is already there. So in order to for you to find the real solution, you have to find uh, the, the similar problem. If not similar, you, uh, if you are lucky, you got similar one. If you're not lucky, then it might be, uh, you know, uh, you can try to adjust that kind of pattern in order to solve your current problem, right? Okay, uh, so that is uh, because it's, uh, time is limited. I got uh, 21 minutes uh, already covering that one. So just to uh, make you uh, what I call alert that TRIS has been uh, adopted or used by different organizations. So if, if you look at this one, is this uh, in 50 countries, TRIS has been used over the, over the world. I think, I believe this, now is more than that. And if you look at this, uh, some companies already use, uh, international companies have already used trees. 
like for example shell eh? intel uh, in terms of elef uh, electricity and electronic uh, even amd intel siemens all of them a big big company is have been i mean applied trees uh, for them to 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 be competent in their world eh? right uh, in Unimas, uh, we uh, next. Uh, I I don't want to talk about this one. So uh, this session, uh, this uh, work on diagram, a very good. I mean, uh, design diagram uh, is designed by Prof Nara. So with that, I think uh, yeah, Prof, is uh, the session is over to you. Talk about the the Unimas uh, the uh, Unimas trees journey, right? Over to you, Prof. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, I, I just spoke about the journey earlier, so I don't want to go into the journey because uh, we, have, we have moved from academia, we have moved to uh, community training. Now uh, we are uh, going to schools, we are going to teachers. So, so it's really something uh, that is very exciting because many people thought TRIS is only for engineers, but we in Unimas have proven that uh, the educators can use TRIS. I mean, the uh, teachers can now have a very simple way of reverse engineering innovations, you know, and then finding some sort of a clue to solve a problem in a way that is normally they wouldn't be able to think, right? So the first thing that as uh, a TRIS practitioner, I think once you learn TRIS, you become a TRIS practitioner. As you learn to use TRIS, uh, you will somehow realize that the biggest block to you in solving problem is you yourself. Because there is what we call psychological inertia within all of us. I mean, it doesn't mean that you know only you have it. I, I also have it probably much more than anyone else, right? So my psychological inertia stops me from seeing a hundred answers to every problem. Sometimes I only see one, the same one I saw yesterday. But if I can remove my psychological inertia, I would be able to see a million answers, right? So one example that we normally, uh, one illustration that we normally talk about in our training is we say, uh, well, we all know uh, Bill Gates, right? Bill Gates, once he said, 640k of main memory is enough for everybody now i can't tell this to my son my son will laugh at me he says what 640k i mean 640 meg is not enough we need 640 gigabits of information right so you can see the uh the statement by bill gates i mean made in 1980s is really something that is seen to be well, narrow in scope, in narrow in outlook. But what if I had met him on that day when he said this? Well, now he claims he didn't say it, but anyway, uh, if he had said it and what if he met me, I would have told him, hello, Bill, turn around, 640K is too small. So you, can, you need to say no amount of memory is going to be for anyone. So if he said that, can you imagine now Microsoft would be controlling everything, your thoughts already, right? Even before Twitter and all emerge. If he had just said that. So what I'm sharing with you is innovation happens momentarily. I mean, innovation, I mean, if that innovation happened at the right time, at the right place, under the right circumstances, you can turn a person who is, uh, well, going to be subject to, uh, challenges in terms of their mind to someone who's totally liberated, right? I mean, to be liberated in your thinking, to say, wow, uh, I, this is a new problem. It's very difficult. Thank you. Please give me some more problems like that because I already got 40 inventive principles in my hand. I will use one of the principles and I will solve it in a way that I have never solved it before. And then if I don't like it, I just choose another principle. So what I'm holding in my hands is the answers from Altschuler. After studying 40,000 patents, he came up with this 40 codes, which is called 
40 inventive principles. So you can look up 40 inventive principles in our website or the internet. You will find much more information about the 40 inventive principles. You can see that this will open up your mind. So this is one of the tools that we teach in schools and the kind of training that we want to go into community. So on the first day of the, uh, the pre-conference, uh, we already uh, talked to communities and we gave them a homework. They are going to look for innovation in their own communities. So when they find an innovation, they will map it to one of the principles. So this is another activity that they are doing. So uh, if any of you want to participate in such challenges that will open up communities uh, for the rest of you know, uh, eternity, well, please join us. You know, what we are doing is after we made these cards, we are now making 40 inventive principles for Penan, right? So we are making 40 inventive principles for Kalabit. You know, so there's nothing to stop us from going to every community where we would be able to find out what were the innovation in the past. Do you have a problem? Do you need an index? We will give you an index. We will use this as an index for mapping all innovation. So it was surprising, you know, when we go into a, a rural community like Barrio. I mean, we see this, you know, uh, the drum is used to inform people, hello, it's time to go uh, to church. You know, there's time for our event, right? Uh, if you really look at what was the innovation behind artifacts like this, the wood is being used to inform the whole village. This is called mechanical substitution. So if you really understood the, the uh, inventive principle behind every invention, you will make sure that every child in your village is creative every moment. When you watch the uh, water strider, you can see that there is a principle of anti-weight being demonstrated in nature itself. So for us to look at nature and identify, ah, that is an innovation that I can borrow from and I can remodel it in my own workplace, right? Or in my own school, right? This is really what we are moving to do. We are trying to turn everyone who can map their innovation and benchmark it with patents, benchmark it with industries. And because you can benchmark with industries, you will be able to do things which is considered a wow, even from someone who's outside the country, some, some you know, uh, a, a very experienced person will be surprised at the innovation that can come out from our very home, from our own village, from our neighborhood. Thank you, uh, Dr. Haliko. Uh, thank you, Prof. Yeah, thank you, Prof. Uh, your enlightening the, the concept of trees. So yeah, uh, before we can uh, play the video, maybe uh, is there any question from participant? You want to ask, you want to know more trees or uh, anything uh, you want to suggest, you recommend. Even the other the, our panel also, if you are uh, from the panel, maybe others that uh, in this uh, work call, in this session, you want to share your thoughts about uh, trees? Also, uh, Ken. Yep. Okay. Uh, there is uh, two questions, uh, Haliko. Uh, there is. Are there infinitely many many solutions to a problem? Uh, well, uh, my answer is yes, and I. Uh, well, of course, I can prove with Chris. Uh, prove to Chris that uh, well, mathematically, it might not be uh, that easy <laughs> to prove, but uh, I can show you through examples, right? Now, uh, there's a question from Alice, uh, Alice Day, right? So Alice yeah, Day yeah. is asking, can we have an example? I still don't get it. Uh, how do we, uh, okay, the question is, uh, how do we overcome uh, psychological inertia? Can you think of a simple example, Alikul? I mean, maybe you want to talk about the schools or something. Yeah, uh, the psychology inertia is actually, is uh, related to our, uh, tacit knowledge, which is what we are uh, perceive something. For example, uh, we 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 give uh, uh, example to the uh, our ability. Uh, that is too abstract. Let let me give you uh, psychology in this of table uh, table. So, for example, you know that table is uh, the function is to put something on 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 top of it, and then for you to to 
to do your work on the on the table. Huh? So that is kind of psychology in Asia that you already give that function to the table. You you don't you don't have any what call uh, 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 if you want to uh, fight your psychology in Asia, for example, that table uh, you can have no table, but the function of table is there, for example. So so that is will will you will will give you some some you know challenge that hey, how come uh, there's no table but the table is there so if you don't believe that meaning that you still got a psychology inertia but if you believe without table there's a function of table meaning that you pass the psychology inertia so that is an example meaning that uh, you 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 are open uh, for example if i say uh, in the future uh, you can you can have a car without having your own car which is now happening even though I, I don't have any car i can i can call grab you know for example <laughs> but however uh, as long as i got a what call of course a money yeah? so uh, if this uh, psychology in asia is what uh, prof uh, address uh, will will you know if you having a very high psychology in asia it's very hard for you to move this is what I call you are very uh, uh, you want to uh, remain in your status quo, uh, in a comfort zone. So, in order for you to go out, uh, to break out your psychology in Asia, you need to go out from your comfort zone. Huh? So, that is an example uh, in terms of what I call, uh, if you want to, uh, uh, you, if you want to understand the psychology in Asia. In order to test whether you are you having a very high psychology in Asia, you need to uh, test yourself whether you uh, you are uh, able to uh, this is another word is a uh, creatively think about new approach or you still stick with the approach that you believe uh, because human being is the they call it uh, prof uh, they call it like uh, uh, what do you call is a uh, heuristic uh, we believe that the approach that give us result but we don't believe the approach a new approach that might be not giving us a better result so if you are a person that you believe uh, for certain rules, meaning that your psychology is very high, but if you believe in other different approach, uh, diverse approach, you don't care, then that is you have very low psychology in Asia. I think, okay. uh, uh, I hope that can I'm answering that. Uh, Haliko, can we move to the video? Because I think that will also give an idea to answer what, what is being asked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we already answered all the questions, right? That will be the repurpose positively. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I think I stopped sharing my screen so that uh, stop sharing. Yeah. I think the technical team, maybe you can uh, play the what called uh, the the pre workshop video and then uh, followed by the uh, IJ, IJIC. Uh, completion. Yeah. Okay. Um. Selamat pagi semua. Selamat datang ke EBKF Junior Inventive Challenge. Terima kasih kerana meluangkan masa untuk join our free workshop dan mewakili uh, your schools and also organisation. So without further ado, so I will pass to uh, Dr Haliku to start the first session. Dr Haliku. Okay, mm -hmm. Farina. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Farina, for the introduction. So basically, uh, kalau kita belajar Tris ni, uh, mungkin ada yang tanya-tanya lah. Saya jawab, saya cuba tekan lah. Uh, apa benda binatang Tris ni? Kan? Kita dah cakap-cakap macam tu kan? So uh, dia ni adalah kalau kalau saya lah, uh, secara uh, bahasa yang tidak tersusun lah. Uh, saya kata bahasa biasa-biasa saja. Uh, Tris ni kalau boleh saya katakan ibarat gula-gula, uh, gula-gula, kan? Gula-gula yang mana uh, kalau kita makan uh, kita rasa dia punya uh, sweet lah, sweet. Kan? So dalam gula-gula ni adalah ber berunsurkan memberi kita ilham. So kalau kita pakai Tris kita sepatutnya merasakan kemanisan bagaimana kita nak berilham. Dengan lebih teratur. So before that, let me explain. Uh, this is psychology of problem solving. Uh, our goal is to stick the candle 
on the wall. Uh, this is the wall, eh? and light it up. So you given a candle, one candle, uh, one uh, box of matches, and you got a pin eh? or thumb stuck. Eh? So I want the solution. Uh, you can light up the candle uh, on the wall. Eh? Okay, this is the, our our goal. So I give you two minutes, and I'm after that. I like to see. I like to uh, call hear from from you. What is your solution? Okay, boleh ya? Two minutes. Okay, solution. Semua hebat hebat belakang. So far so good lah. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, memang, uh, I guess, mentor uh, mentor layak jadi mentor lah. This one, the solution lah, so should be like this lah. So, uh, tanya kepada cikgu, semua yang menjawab betul, uh, tapi uh, saya tak ada hadiah lah. <laughs> memang, memang layak jadi mentor lah. Okay, uh, only that is I want to highlight is uh, dalam dalam kita nak solve the problem, uh, kita jangan bagi apa fix uh, function to any 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 other object. Eh? Kalau kita bagi kotak mati tadi, for example, kita tak gunakan. That is kind of resources, eh? our resources. Because kenapa kita gunakan mat, uh, kotak mati tadi? Because we know we know to, we need to put on the wall. Eh? Kalau tidak, kita tak akan gunakan. Then that's why dalam kita kehidupan, walaupun this one is a kind of game. But there is a message. Eh? Message is, if you want to uh, solve the problem, contohnya kita selalu dalam kita punya kehidupan uh, kita bagi fungsi yang yang tertentu kepada suatu objek. Contohnya meja, kan? Meja tu kita gunakan untuk tempat menulis dan tempat belajar. Kalau nak 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 uh, bilang orang kata orang uh, sawak nak nengki siapa? Kan? Tapi kadang-kadang kalau kita nak pergi ke atas kita tak ada, tak, ada, tak ada bangku, kita guna meja. Meja boleh ditingkat-tingkatkan ataupun meja boleh ditebalikkan, meja boleh disengatkan. Maksudnya jangan bagi satu benda yang fix dalam objek. So anything mungkin mungkin dalam konteks yang kita belajar ni yang ini psikologi ni because kita nak test sama ada pemikiran kita ni oh tak uh, kotak macis tu tak ada guna dia. Tapi seems like all the particip uh, all the mentors memang uh, layak jadi mentor lah. So basically problem if you got the solution no more problem okay so problem always turn into solution okay so subfield or you can it uh, basically subfield lah substance field is a modeling technique representing the behavior of two substance substance any object lah substance is can be object and its interaction For this session, saya dengan tim akan taking charge. Uh, today, kita punya case study adalah uh, creating an ideal face mask. Uh. So nowadays, we have to wear a face mask in order to uh, prevent COVID-19 uh, virus uh, ataupun uh, from the spreading. So the function of the face mask is to stop droplet, especially when you are coughing or sneezing or even talking. Uh. So um, However, kebanyakan orang nowadays, uh, they don't feel comfortable when wearing face mask. So, uh, they have difficult in breathing, uh, ada yang sampai uh, can cause like acne problems and so on. So, <clears throat> for the first example, health and safety mask. Uh, this is a work from our colleague. Uh, what they are trying to aim here is they want the mask to to be comfortable because nowadays the simple mask that we use are very hard to breathe very hard to talk and when you are using glasses like me uh, it is very common problem to have fog foggy glasses okay we go now huh? okay in three two one thank you okay thank you team Ibnu Khaldun Samarahan Sarawak
Selamat pagi, nama saya Caroline Kesi. Saya pelajar dari Sekolah Kebangsaan Tatau. Tajau inovasi kami adalah sistem pengasahan suhu dan kedatangan. Hai semua, saya Sitil. Pada hari ini, saya ingin berkongsikan satu idea inovasi yang kami telah rancang untuk taringan IWKF 8 pada tahun ini. Mari kita lihat gambar sekolah kami yang terkesan akibat banjir pada 23 Mac 2021 yang lalu. Walaupun kawasan sekolah tidak mengalami hujan, tetapi kami turut terjejas akibat limpahan air dari hulu sungai. Ha, nampak tak tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sekalian? Kasihan bukan? Jadi dengan pembimbingan guru, kami ingin merangka satu alat pengarah banjir sebagai tanda amaran bahawa kawasan sekolah akan terkesan akibat banjir kilat. SK Nanga Tebat terletak di kawasan penalaman dan dari sudut geografinya amat terdedah dengan banjir kilat. Selamat datang ke pameran inovasi model Signa SK Agama Ibnu Khaldun Samaran. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Saya Adik Uzair Ibn Ali dari SK Kemal Kembali, Sabarang dan Sarawak. Saya akan membentangkan hasil dan kursi saya iaitu model SIMNA. Apa itu model SIMNA? Model SIMNA ialah singkatan nama bagi model simulasi gerakan. Model SIMNA dibina untuk menguasai fahaman tentang fenomena gerakan bulan dan gerakan matahari dengan betul berdasarkan standar kandungan dan standar pembelajaran di SKP Sains Tahun 6. Assalamualaikum and good morning to everyone. I am Amar Walid bin Abdul Wahid, student from SK Raya Kuching, Sarawak. Today, I would like to introduce my project, which is called Transfer Dustbin. The design of Transfer Dustbin is actually to solve the waste disposal and prevention from germs and disease. Why are we doing Everyone, I am Ariana Zahra binti Abdul Rahid. And I am Muhammad Yazin Kursi. We are from SK Raya Jalan Haji Bahasan in Kuching. Today we are going to show you all our project, the Automatic, Automatic Hand Sanitizer. Assalamualaikum and, and good, good morning, morning to, to everyone. everyone. I'm Dayan Nukalisa. And I am Afif Adam from SK Right Yard. Yeah. And we, we are, are the creators, creators of the Ambulance. Hi, I am Ahmed Zahir Zafran. And I am Alicia Zahra. We are from SK Raya Kuching, Sarawak. COVID-19 is a pandemic that has killed many people, created havoc, and changed our lifestyle. In order to combat COVID-19, we need to use face mask, hand sanitizer, and practice social distancing. But failure to social distancing is the main cause of COVID-19 infections. And so, we thought of an idea to create DWS, Distance Warning System. Uh, check. 
Thank you yeah. very much. Uh, I think that was an amazing presentation. But I, I think Dr. Halikul, uh, you, uh, you want to explain what, what just happened just now? Yeah, uh, if you see the, 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 the first video uh, was, is, uh, is uh, we conduct a pre-workshop. Uh, we selected a uh, uh, number of schools. And these schools is actually, uh, we invite them to do some innovation. Uh, then uh, we actually the, the pre workshop was uh, we if you look at the first video I think is that is a uh, for mentor uh, we we uh, train the teachers with the uh, Chris concept uh, and uh, by uh, by having I mean, that workshop and we turn the teacher uh, we we share with them uh, with uh, what are called with the concept of trees and then we ask them. To go to their students and to discuss and using the three principle uh, to do some innovation. That's why when you see the second video, you see the student is actually doing their innovation, all right, by applying concept trees. Eh? So with trees, they are able to uh, do innovation, eh? even though in a this is proven. That's why some of the what are called a case study they say. What is the case study of trees? So this is uh, from the video. You can see that we already go to the what call in a, in fact this is a, what call a second uh, primary school. Huh? Yeah, primary school. We we already uh, uh, witness that they are able to do a kind of innovation in terms of their level. Of course, at their level, we are uh, we don't judge them in terms of uh, uh, a, from the perspective of our level uh, because. A primary school able to do this kind of innovation this is good enough good enough huh? because uh, they know how to do do innovation by applying trees huh? so of course they can do without trees but with trees the innovation uh, that they have proposed is more impact huh? more impact because there is something called uh, method huh? method which is being used internationally huh? so uh, I guess, Prof, uh, we already hitting the time. <laughs> so uh, I'm happy uh, uh, to, to have you in, in this session. Uh, I hope uh, all the participants, I uh, mean, if you cannot uh, get it uh, uh, 100%, maybe 70%, or maybe 20%, or 10%, that is good enough to understand trees. So what we want to uh, what call share, dengan kita punya sara-sara di bakalalan, di mana-mana mereka yang berada di uh, throughout the Borneo kita nak sampaikan bahawa uh, kita boleh berinovasi setiap kita berinovasi. So dengan mempelajari trees uh, kita akan cepat dapat mengeluarkan idea-idea yang yang sebelum ini kita tidak boleh capai. Yeah? So uh, before we end the session, uh, I like to give a, our call uh, a chance to our uh, panel, <laughs> our speaker to uh, if they have any message to to mean to our participant before we end the session. Prof, over to you. Uh, thank, thank you so much, Dr. Halikul. I, I think I just like to say, share something to uh, both Dr. Halikul and team. You guys are amazing because I, I was not there during the training. The training was entirely conducted by uh, Dr. Halikul, Farina and team. Right. So what they did in a half a day training, in half a day training, they uh, somehow convinced the teachers on uh, how good Tris is, uh, taught them how to use some basic techniques, which was transferred to the students and the students came up with some very exciting ideas and they immediately came up with the multimedia to uh, presentations you saw just now. That is entirely, uh, a, uh, I will say my recognition of the school's innovation. I mean, they wanted to show what they could do beyond just the inventive concepts that they came up with. So if you want to find out more about the inventive concepts, I mean, the presentation from the children, if you want to watch what they have done, we are going to present it live uh, tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. in EBKF. Now, uh, we will also make all this available on YouTube, so you can also check back and come back later. So this is proof that with Pris, everyone can innovate. 
Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Prof. Uh, thank you. I mean, uh, with that, uh, I'd like to thank all the participants. Uh, I'm sorry I cannot take any question, but uh, hopefully you enjoy. If you have any pro uh, any inquiry about trees, of course, uh, we are free to help you. Uh, together, we are bouncing back stronger. <laughs> so with that, thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you next session. <laughs>